Can you believe that ever since I've been in Ghana, light has never gone off for once. You don't need gem in your house. Forget about the capital city, let's talk about the typical village. Even the areas that looks like a zongo, that looks like a ghetto. Guys, they have 24 hour power supply. What a like, I beg, go and buy me fuel, make an own my generator. Guy, challenge me, bet me, security is 100% in Ghana. Their soldiers are gallant, they are up to date. Their police people are well informed and educated. You hardly see an illiterate in Ghana police service. When Ghana people are dissatisfied with their president, they tend to come out in mass and protest. Their president will listen to them. But in other places, when you tend to come out, to show your dissatisfaction to your president, you become the story of the day. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ekene Eze. I want to share with you my experience so far being in Ghana. Now, I am not saying this to kind of make other people feel happy or feel sad. I am not saying this to, I'm not comparing any country, but rather from my own personal experience, from what I have experienced in Ghana, I want to share it with you guys. It has been, it has been a sweet journey so far. It has been an excellent one so far in Ghana. Guys, seriously, I've enjoyed Ghana for the past days I've been in Ghana. I've met people, I've had many friends, I've been to so many places. And I've tried to like pipe low to bring myself down in order to understand Ghana's culture. So guys, there are a few things I have noticed and experienced in Ghana and I want to share it with you guys. Number one on my list is, of course, the 24 hour power supply. I made it the first cause this is a top notch for a country a country with 24 hour power supply tends to attract investors guys do you believe or can you believe that ever since i've been in ghana light has never gone off for once light has never gone off for once there is 24 hour power supply and Ghana is not that much. Their population is not that much. Guys, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a total top notch for Ghana. This is, this is very, very like, it is very um, encouraging. You will put your stuff in the fridge. Before you know, everything will block. You don't have to start getting gen. You don't need gen for supplementary purposes. You don't need gen in the offices. You don't need gen in your house. Do you know that I've been to so many hotels? I hardly see gen in Ghana. In Ghana hotel. I've not seen like power. Like I've not seen an alternative to lights in many hotels that I've been to. In many houses that I've been to, I've not seen generator. Why? Because they have 24 hour power supply. Let me even shock you. Do you know that I've not really seen inverter solar energy in Ghana? There is nothing like solar energy. There is nothing like generator in Ghana. The shocking thing is even the typical village in Ghana has lights. Even the most typical village in Ghana, they have 24 hour power supply. Forget about the capital city. Let's talk about the typical village. Even the areas that looks like a zongo, they call it zongo, it looks like a slump area that looks like a ghetto. Guys, they have 24 hour power supply. This is, this is like, that it, it, it is like, it is bringing progress to the country. Like, it's making investors flow in. Do you know what it means when investors realize that there is light in your country? More, it will tend to attract more investors to come to your country to build 
in this country, to establish in this country, Ghana has already paved way for foreign investors to come and build and establish in Ghana. Typical villages in Ghana has lights. No generator. What's it like? I beg, go and buy me fuel, make I own my generator. I've not noticed anything like that. You guys will be wondering, how did I notice? See, I don't spend the whole of my days in the hotel room. I tend to move out. I mingle with people. So I have noticed it. And this is my experience so far in Ghana. The so second experience, the second experience is Ghana. Their police is called Ghana Police Service. Wow. Ghana Police Service. Guys, do you know what is service? Service means rendering help to who needs the help. Service means helping people. Service means bringing yourself down to let, like, oh my God. Police service, Ghana police service, but it's not Ghana police force. Because if you must be forced, that means they'll be using force on people. But this is Ghana police service. That name alone, if I hear of police service, if I'm if I'm afraid of police before, guys, I will never be afraid of police. Because police are here to give you to render service to you. They are here to tell you, do this, do that. And one thing about the Ghana Police Service is if you have if you have an issue, they will attend to you. They will not tend to ask you bribe. I've had one issue with a Ghana police person. I am telling you this from my experience. Many people might have their different view, but from my own view, this is what I've experienced. This policeman rendered an ultimate service to me. I asked him, is this the reason why they called your police, Ghana Police Service? He said, yes, we are here to serve the population. We are not here to intimidate them. Rather, we listen to them. <laughs> Guys, because of this alone, police can be your friend in Ghana. Because of this alone, and the mention of police, you want to come close to them, not run away from them. When a policeman is rendering service to you, he tends to become your friend. But when a policeman is a force to you, he tends to become your enemy. Therefore, at the mention of police, you start running away. Why would you be running away at the mention of police? Police are supposed to be your friend. Ghana Police Service, guys. Confidence. The confidence is 100%. Why would I run away when seeing a police person that came to render service to me, that came to bring himself down to serve me? And I will start running away from that person. It's not done. I've noticed another thing again. And this thing is not only Ghana. I think Kenya too still use their coin. Yes, Kenya still use coin. Ghana still use coin. Guys. I think fading away coin in other currency might be as a result of I don't I don't I can't I don't in fact I can't just tell. But it baffles me that this country still use coin. And this coin can be accessible to everybody. You can buy water, can water. Where is the can water? You can buy can water to Ghana cities with the coin. You can buy what again? You can buy um like yesterday I bought coconuts on the road, six Ghana cities with coin. I don't have notes, but I use my coin to buy it. I bought Zobo on the road. Uh, how many Ghana cities? Like I used coin. Do you know the last time I used coin? Do you know there is this feeling when you have coin? At least the poor masses can still can still buy all. Like, afford things. The poor masses still have hope to afford things when they use this coin. Things are affordable. Economy 
is okay. Tell me why will Ghana not be a fast growing country? Number four on my list is I was going back yesterday from a shoot. I noticed something on the road. Ghana, their drivers will wait for you to cross the road. <laughs> Guys, let me repeat again. Their driver will wait for you to cross the road. Like, I've not seen this kind of a thing before. There was this small boy coming back from school yesterday. He was just alone. He is the only one on the road, on the other side of the road. The, the car I entered immediately saw the boy. He breathed. Do you get? He was waving his hand like this. And he asked the boy to pass. I turned my back. I saw other drivers moving their hand at those ones behind them. Until that single soul, that boy, passed. Before they start moving. I noticed it like two times. Like, this is... They have self-respect. They have... They have... They have... They have sense of humor. This is, a, this is a country that works. This is a country that is organized. That alone makes me have another good narrative about Ghana. That alone makes me have a good, a good, how am I going to put it like, confidence about Ghana. Guys, this is, what? Let me go to the other one on my list. Speaking of their tribe, I experienced and I noticed that Ghana, they interact with their local tribe. You hardly see a Ghanaian, a Ghana, Ghana speaking English. You hardly see. They invest in their tribe. They speak their tribe. Any street you go, they speak like God. These people, these people, these people are shocking me. They respect their tribe. They love their tribe. They cherish their tribe. Like, they are proud speaking their tribe. That's gonna for you. Now, let me talk about the most important one. The most important one security guy challenge me bet me security is 100 percent in ghana security is 100 percent in ghana so i'm talking to you right now in ghana you can be on the road around 12 p.m 12 a.m nothing is happening you can even sleep on the road the next day Nothing will happen to you. Guys, something happened. Do you, do you know why I said Ghana security is top known? There was a place I went to exchange money. The guy was counting the money. He gave me the money. Quickly, I told him, okay, let's hide the money. He said, no, no, keep the money here. Nothing is happening. I said, hey? He said, no, keep the money. And let me even tell you, the, the place I went to change the money, is in a big village if a village can be secured like that what about the city this guy told me keep the money here nothing is happening i kept the money i was counting the guy said you can even keep one million naira there one million ghana cities and nothing will happen guys this is security and their soldiers are gallant they are up to date their police people are well informed and educated. You hardly see an illiterate in Ghana police service. You hardly see an illiterate in Ghana army. This is why their security is top notch. They don't do tribalism in their force. You don't do tribalism. Because when you take away tribalism, security is top notch. Corruption is top notch and for your information corruption is at the barest minimal in ghana compared to other countries when 
Ghana people are dissatisfied with their president. They tend to come out in mass and protest. Their president will listen to them. But in other places, when you tend to come out to show your dissatisfaction to your president, you become the story of the day. Tell me, why would investors invest in Ghana? Why would people love Ghana? Why won't Ghana become the fast growing country and economy? Guys, this is my experience. I am not saying other people do not have their experience, but my experience so far, ever since I've been in Ghana, that's my experience so far. Now, the last but not the least is I have noticed that they don't negotiate price. They don't negotiate price. If they tell you this is six CDs, it is six CDs. If they tell you this is 10 CDs, it is 10 CDs. If you go to the restaurant to buy food, the price is constant. The price is there. It is not the one that they tell you this is 10 CDs, you start pricing, ah, madam, is this not five CDs? It's not six CDs. So many people are used to that. But all in all, this is an economy that is fast growing in West Africa. Their security is top notch. 24 hour power supply. No. Guys, how can I be in a country where there is no light and how can I succeed? How? If I have a business, I tend to buy fuel. I tend to buy generator. That is to say, all my profits in return is going to servicing of my gen and buying of fuel. But here is not like that. Yes, let me pay high here and let there be constant electricity and economy and good economy. Yes, because when your government is working, when your government is working for you, you don't complain about the hike in price. When there is light, why would I complain about hike in price? When there is good security, why would I complain? Yes. If everything is working good, if the light, they should tell me this is 40 Ghana cities, I will buy it. There is light. I will make my money. I don't have to buy fuel. I use light to power all my appliances for business. Why would foreign investors come here? Why would they come to Ghana? My honest experience from Ghana so far, like I said from the first video, a lot of people have their own experience, but for the days that I've been here, guys, this is my experience so far in Ghana. So guys, please kindly turn on your bell notification to get notified whenever I post a new video. Goodbye.